Hello everybody, welcome back. We are doing another acrylic pouring. This time we are using another new device. This time it's not a bottle bottom, but a dessert cup bottom. This is not quite the exact same one that Fiona uses, but it's similar. It had a bit of a divot in the bottom of the cup. Um, so I put some uh, plumbing putty down, but there's the cup and you can kind of see it's got a little bit of a rise at each of the feet. So hopefully this will work pretty good for me. We will find out. Plus it's taller, so I should be able to pick it up and move it easier like she tends to do. I've already put some white down. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to do the same colors um, as I did in my last one, which was brilliant blue, cerulean blue, violet, and white. Except I'm going to exchange the white for yellow. I want to see uh, what the yellow will do. So with that being said, this time we're going to start with the violet. We'll see if I have any better luck with the pouring part. Any going down on that side? Okay. There's the start. Kind of going in reverse order. Um, yeah, let's do this color. Oh, and I just saw some fuzz drop right in. Any blue make it down that one? A little bit more on that one. Let's see if I can find that fuzz. Oh, I think it's right there on the edge of the petal. I'm not going to worry about that too much because I'm going to be pulling the petals out anyhow. Do the touch of yellow. Going down that side yet? Kind of help it along there. Purple and yellow is muddying, so that's not good. Probably should have left the putty off. I'm going to 
let's do, let's see. Can't remember my order. You can't even see the brilliant blue anymore. Alright, instead of yellow, let's go back to our white. And I hear the cat's getting into something. getting muddy as much. Starting to get low on my brilliant blue. Oh, whoops. Finish this white first. And actually. Kind of push it back in there. Seems like my table is slanting, although I haven't moved it from the last time I did any paintings. So I'm a little confused. I'm going to stop there. Temporarily. Give it a second for it to get down. And then we are going to rotate right there. This will create inner blooms. And 
this is something that I took from Fiona doing that little turn. She may not want me to give her credit, <laughs> uh, especially with as bad as that outside ring is. Pop that bubble. Oh, it still didn't pop. It's traveling, but it's not popping. There we go. Purple. Going off that edge, that's okay because it's the ugly part going off that edge. And I saw something drop again, but I don't see it. So we'll just leave things as is so I don't mess things up more. Now one thing Fiona does that I did not do is she does flood her entire canvas before she starts doing her petals and it probably would have benefited me. Because I am not liking how it goes when you don't flood it. So note, <laughs> future wines, go ahead and flood the canvas. Alright, let's 
go ahead and pull this up. And let's, hmm. I want to get rid of those edges. I do not like that yellow. No, but there's some yellow down into there. So let's go ahead and separate it. This may be a redo anyhow. We will see. All right, which ones do I want to bring out all the way? I should clean it off in between each one. See where it's really pulling on that end where it went off the edge. This just was not a day for painting, guys. I'm going to go ahead and Mix that a little there. All right, I forgot to prep my white paper towel, so I will be back in just a minute. Let me go ahead and torch it first. Let's see all those bubbles popping. this turns out. I'm not holding my breath this time though, guys. Boy, it's full of paint too. I'm going to try to pat it down better than I did last time because I had stuff on the edges that you could tell the paper dial didn't pick up. Actually, let me go this way and then I'll go that way. That way you guys can somewhat see what I'm doing. My phone battery died, so I'm having to use the laptop. And I know it doesn't give you guys the best view, so I apologize. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's kind of neat. Anyhow. I just got way more green on there than I intended. <laughs> um, I think I wash my gloves off. I'll be right back. there. I don't know. Oops, I'm trying to turn it on the turntable. It's not turning. What do you guys think? I mean, it's not a bloom like it's supposed to be. It's still kind of interesting. The green that ended up turning up from the yellow and blue, um, I've got it right here, here, and here, and a little bit right there. So it's not too far out of place. Not quite what I was hoping for. There's a little too much white speckling. That's from the bubbles bringing the white paint up from underneath. Um, I should have caught the, I've got to learn to do that better because uh, for the flowers themselves, that's not gonna be so pretty. Let me see if I've got enough charge on my phone to get you guys in close. don't want to play with it too much but I'm not loving it what if we I think I got all of the pies even. If not, it's all right. What happens if we play with it now? I actually kind of like it being off center like that right there. I think we're going to leave it right there. Cover up that speckling. Hmm. 
What do you guys think? Shall we leave it alone? <laughs> I am good at messing stuff up more and more. We'll see how it dries. See if it develops any better. And kind of go from there. I do like it better off center. I think it gives it a little more character. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the drying rack and see how it turns out. We'll go from there. See you at the next acrylic pouring.